Joining me now is Bill Mullaney, Tipperary Camogie manager. Bill, so disappointed for you. Your players gave everything today. Yeah, look, I mean, we're, we're as I was just saying before, we're, we're devastated. Uh, bitterly disappointed for our lads, uh, for the girls. Um, gave everything, you know, I mean, you couldn't ask any more of them. Um, you know, we finished strongly. It just didn't go for us, that's all. Um, we had the opportunities as well. We didn't, we didn't, we, we, we probably didn't execute them or make the right decisions at stages, but look, they're a savage team, they're a savage outfit, um, and the amount of hours and effort and you know time they put in this year for their for their county, um, you know, they're, they're something that we should all be proud of. Uh, they're, they're they're an outrageous panel uh, to describe them as uh, as the Mayo man of the match said. Like you know, we couldn't ask for any more. And I'm actually at this stage struggling for words how to describe them in in, 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 in such positive terms. But I mean, like when you have a team like you know, or the Dwyer caught the Van Mal Ryan, you know, like I mean, it's 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 unreal what's there. Like and um, you know, we were just short again, but. You know, you could say we're getting closer, but you know we have to get over the line at some stage. You know, mm, and there was such chances in it. You know, like just maybe decision making at that level is so important, and just the basics: get the ball in your hand and move it forward. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, we had a lot of opportunities there in the second half, we, and you know, as I say, we might be might have made better decisions when the opportunities rose. Uh, we probably put it should have tapped over for a couple of pints rather than gone gone for the throat as well, um, and um, then put re, put Galway really under pressure and see what they were made of. Then uh, we didn't, and uh, that's it. But I mean, there's no there, there, there's no point in second guessing the girls now. We're on the sideline; they have to make the decisions in, in a split second. You know, and I back them a um, hundred percent, whatever. The decisions they made mm. fair enough uh, we're a little slow probably to start in the game and just gave Galway that little advantage two three points on board but when you stormed into the game after the water break it really was a different tip and we saw that then in the start to the second half as well Karen Kindy driving forward we just had a new energy yeah, look, we came out, uh, we did get off to a, a, a slow enough start. And, and it was that gap, um, probably in the first water break, two or three pints there, that, um, you know, that when you're trying to scramble it and get it back when you're under pressure like that is, um, you know, it's always difficult to present, present a real uh, challenge. But, I mean, in fairness, like, uh, after the first water break, and especially after half time, uh, the lads knuckled down, got really stuck in. You know, I thought we might have been a bit standoffish in the first 15 minutes and giving them too much room or being, you know, for want of a better description, being too nice to them. And, um, um, and um, you know, but after the second, ha after the start of the second half, we really tore in. Uh, we got stuck in, and um, and uh, we, we we took it to him, you know. Um, but look, we just came up short again, you know. But I can't mm. I can't fault our lads. Uh, um, again, proud as punch uh, to be associated with the panel like this, you know. The goal was so disappointing, and you saw at the end all the players that went over to Quiverbork, and they just said, you know, this can happen to anyone. Like a ball dropping in out of your hand. Anyone that has played in goals knows it happens. Yeah, look, it's happened to everybody. I mean, there's every every goalkeeper in the country would be would be sympathetic there because there's no way that uh, it hasn't happened to him at all. Look, Quiva is a savage, savage uh, uh, goalkeeper, uh, and we're lucky to have two great goalkeepers in Tipperary and Anya Slattery as well. Like you know, but I mean, like uh, as we said to Quiva, like you know, head up, got to be proud of yourself. She, we're proud of her and delighted that she's part of this panel. Like I mean, you know, only for Quiva in a lot of cases, like we wouldn't be here. You know, so like it's easy, um, you know, point your finger at a goalkeeper and then you don't clap her on the back when she's after making 10 saves or great <laughs> puck outs or whatever or isn't positively encouraging the team you know she's a huge asset to tip huge asset to drum and delighted to have her and proud mm. of her even like you know on and off the field you know a, a great person yeah and late chances then as well just little things make a difference in a big game hard to know where do you go from here now uh, you know, I mean, like we just have to go back to, to the drawing board again. I mean, as I say, like it's it's, it's split hairs again. Like um, you know, as I say, like maybe not taking over, taking our chances when they were on, working the scoreboard a bit better, maybe, and then um, you know, getting back level or getting a pint in front and see where we'd go from there and really ask the question. But you know, I mean, um, it's it's all experience uh, to the players. Um, you know, where do we go from here? We, well, we, we won't make any uh, decisions, the players won't make any decisions today. I mean, they'll have enough to think about tonight and, uh, and pick themselves up during the week. Uh, but I mean, as I say, like, you know, they're a great bunch, proud of them. And um, you couldn't want for any, a, a better panel or a better uh, a group of players to be, to be with Tipperary, you know, and representing that jersey, you know. Mm. Getting to Crow Park, did that have an, an extra factor this year to just be there and maybe just kind of get used to your surroundings at the very start of the game even? 
Yeah, well, I think, like, you know, that, that, just a couple of times now I've been asked that, and maybe we had a small bit of stage fright for five, six, seven or eight minutes, and we might have been a bit more nervous, you know, probably looking around uh, at, at the environment you're in. But um, I didn't think so, and they weren't in the dressing room before they went out, but maybe, like, when actually the ball is thrown in, there may have been a small bit. But, I mean, but, um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a huge occasion for them. They deserve to be here. And, I, and um, I just repeat that, like, I mean, I can't ask any more of them. They gave everything, you know. Mm. So uh, overall, like it's just it feels like last year in some ways, in that you get so close, but at the same time, it feels like we're even closer to the top of Everest. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's coming down to inches or centimeters at this stage, whereas it used to be miles. But we're we're back. I know it's our fourth All Ireland, but you know, um, you know, it, it is. Yeah, I, I I'm struggling to even. You know, af so close or so quickly after the match to, to even describe how far along we've come. But we have, like, we have um, improved our backroom team. We've improved our our focus, our style of play, our, our our players. We've found more players. We have adapted more players. We have players in different positions. You know, and I think like the Tip Kamogi has come on again. You know, and I think like you know from even from support of the Tip GEA, the Tip Kamogi County Board. Like, uh, as I say, I can't mention enough the backroom team that's there you know Dennis Kelly uh, Angelo Walsh Denny Ferncombe Kevin Connors uh, Carmel Mary Tig, um, you know Maggie uh, you know like there's there, there's so many more there as well Jerry Kelly from uh, Boris Lee coming in as physio as well I mean like the, the amount of people that are there helping out and giving out their time uh, to, to improve Tip Camogie and drive it on is, is unreal and we have pushed it on again it's just that we didn't get over the line again and that's look that's what you're judged on and that's what you're measured on and um, you know that's it we'll have to go again that's it sure Tipperary senior men's team will have to go again you know it doesn't end you just have to continue on and reset you know